everything about acrylic I like. It cleans up quickly, it, um, it dries quickly, and it's versatile because you'll see that I can use it over tissue paper and uh, it will be fantastic over tissue paper. This is just mostly water, but when I come back in and put something dark over it, it will stick it right to the uh, right to the canvas, and then I can mold the uh, I can mold this any way I want because I'm going to put trees here. So anything I can to add texture or interest, I guess that's that's what I'm that's what I'm after. I get inspired by everything I look at. Everything seems to have a potential in my art. You can see how there are ridges in the tissue paper and that is going to form the branches of my tree or trees. And this will wrap right around the top of the painting. And, um, and it'll stay there. I mean, I can put some more, I can put some acrylic paint on top and then when I'm done with the whole painting, I would put a gloss on it and that will preserve it. And it's not going anywhere. It's going to remain there. And it doesn't matter what shape it takes. Just get it on there and um, then you can... Uh... Now if this is water down below, chances are there is going to be a reflection. So there wouldn't be any problem in letting this go down to the end of the, um, to the, end of the canvas. You can see that there is some um, there's wrinkling going on and you could see here for example you see that that just happened that's a, that's part of a branch and I'll paint that I, it doesn't have to be just exactly the way it appears on the tissue paper but the tissue paper will help and that this might be another branch going up and the part of the trunk coming down uh, I'm very spontaneous and so sometimes um, sometimes I'm aiming towards realism and then sometimes I'm not a painting changes constantly. I mean, if you, for example, when you're doing something like this, yes, I thought I wanted trees over here and trees over there, but they weren't going to be necessarily in this shape. But that's the way they ended up, and that's the way they're, you know, I can still change them from here if I want to, but sometimes you have to go with the spontaneity of it. And then I think um, that's what's so exciting to me, because you don't know. The artist has a responsibility to, to be true to himself, I think. Not necessarily, you don't, I don't create art to sell it. I want it to sell, everybody wants it to sell, but I, it's, it's something in me. And so I think that's the responsibility. I think that the true artist actually speaks from the heart and the responsibility is to be true to yourself.